Hi, welcome to Olden Specialties. Today we're going to be talking about the IG controller software. So the first thing you want to do to get set up is put your disk into your laptop and it'll open up a screen like this here or if it don't uh, go to your CD and open it up. Now what you want to do is right here at monitor installer double click it and it's going to say welcome. I'm going to go next and we're going to accept and go next we're going to add a desktop icon and then we're going to load it into the computer and then we're going to click install okay some computers like this one here it's going to be uh, froze up here for a minute and the screen's going to pop up and you're going to have to allow it okay and what we're going to do is click yes to allow if for some reason during any process at all your Windows firewall or virus protection or anything kicks up a warning uh, be sure to let let it through you know uh, let it go past the firewalls don't do any no's so now we're finished we're going to click finish okay now we can get rid of, rid of this and you should have an icon up here on your computer screen someplace which right there it is okay what we're going to do is we're just going to double click it and it's going to come up how you want it to search for the ECU which actually your IG controller is an electronic control unit so it's basically one computer talking back and forth to the other right at the moment we're just going to click no we're not going to connect anything and what it'll do is it'll kick up a whole bunch of screens I only got one or two shown on this one uh, but there'll be a bunch of them you can just click them all out okay uh, all we're going to concentrate on today is uh, getting you hooked up an engine uh, for rev limit and then we're going to work with timing so what we're going to do now is we're going to come over here and we're going to close it out okay now we want to come to your IG controller and hook up the cable make sure your IG is powered off we don't want any power to it so if you got it in your car uh, just make sure it's turned off okay and then we're going to take the cable and hook it into the side of your laptop okay once we do that then we're going to turn the power on turn the ignition on okay now it's going to take about 15 seconds for everything to start working we want the computer to find it again if any firewalls kick up during this time be sure to allow it through the firewalls okay once we wait about 15 seconds we're going to go to icon we'll double click it and this screen comes up okay what we're going to do is click direct right here is what we want to click okay and it come up ECU found now if it did not find it don't worry about it right now I'll show you another way to get to it you may not have waited long enough for the ECU to start talking back to the uh, to your laptop so we're going to click OK and now we're connected so what we're going to do if we want to full with our rev limit we're going to go up to engine and then we're going to go to setup engine and then over here to the tab that says rev limit click on it and now right here you can see I got 16.8 showing out right now okay and then a 250 uh, dead band you can set that to whatever you want basically what that is doing is when it hits 16.8 it shuts the ignition off it has to drop 250 RPMs under 16.8 for the ignition to come back so it's going to be you know on off on off on off now you got other different types of rev limits here you got none cut ignition which that's your normal rev limit cut fuel which the IG doesn't have any, fit, any fuel cut fuel and ignition again that's for these two are for the PE3 system then you got soft soft what it does is it retards the ignition time and when it starts getting up close to your rev limit so as soon as it starts seeing it, it's going to start backing timing off try to kill the power on the motor to prevent it to go on up so once it gets to that it's going to start shutting the ignition off so it's a little bit easier on your motor by going to soft okay now if you look in the corner here there's a question mark and it's going to be in every window 
if you left click it and if you notice see how the question mark comes with you and maybe you want to know more about this box right here we're going to go in there and left click that box and it opens up the service manual to the page of what you're working with so it makes it really nice then you can you can scroll up or down or whatever and and read and then you can just come back up here top corner exit out to get rid of it okay so once we do that uh, if you change anything just like here let's go to 16 uh, 16 9 okay when I click somewhere else in another box automatically this turn yellow okay when we put it at 16 9 and clicked in the, another box it automatically changed the setting temporarily so if the motors running you change it you're going to see a, a difference uh, but as soon as you shut the IG controller off and power it back up again then you're going to be back to the 16.8 it won't remember it in order to remember it you have to come up here click save data and it saved save data one time you know one success so now it's saved as 16.8 uh, I mean 16.9 I'm sorry so I'm going to put it back where I had it, 16.8. But in order to save it, you got to click in another area after you do your change. It won't save that one unless you click somewhere else. So I'll go back here, click, and it saved. Okay. Now on timing, we can come up here. You can click on that. And we can come over here and get rid of this. Basically, here's your, here's your timing table. You got your RPM across the top. You got your throttle setting down. If you notice, all the numbers are the same all the way down because we're not working with the TPS sensor. So we're just running our timing curve the same on all settings. Um, uh, basically, if you look here at 4,175 RPMs, we got 33 degrees timing. Okay. Uh, the next one is 4,850. Is 46. The timing doesn't say 33 until we get to this. What it does is it slowly ramps up, progressively ramps from 4175 to 4850. So at 4800, you may be 45 degrees, you know, something like that. But it ramps up. So that sort of helps a little bit. Now you can click here and highlight the whole deal uh, or your whole. Uh, talking about lost words uh, or we can click in one place and highlight one or we can uh, left click down and scroll over and highlight several areas okay uh, I'm just going to go here now at the top up here you got a, a number uh, you can put in however many degrees you want three four two I got two right now set if I click the plus it adds two see how it goes 35 and if I go to the minus up here it uh It'll put it back 33, hit it at 31. Okay. Over here on this side, it says 1.10. Okay, this percentage. Uh, if you want to change it 10%, you have to go uh, 110%. So 1.10 uh, would be 10% uh, added. If you multiply, it'll add. See how it went to 36.5? Okay, and then we can come on to division and divide. And if we divide again, it goes down to 30. So. So you can do it in percentages, or you can do it in uh, whatever increments you want to do it in. Okay. Another thing, if you're on the dyno, what makes it nice, right here is a tuning slider. If you click it, and this will not save anything, but if you want to make a run and, and you want to add, say, 5.3 degrees and make a pull, you can do it like that just really quick, or you can take timing out. But again... Uh, this is just temporarily, you know, something that you can do on a dyno. But it won't change your settings here. You have to remember what that is, and then, and then you can come in here and, and do it. It does it over the whole, whole power band curve. Um, if for some reason your computer uh, loses connection, I'm going to turn the power off, make it lose connection. And it's going to kick up lost. Do you want to retry? Okay. Um, I'm going to I'm going to do yes with the power turned off, so you can see what happens if it's not connected. Uh, it 
comes up cannot find the ECU. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the power on again and we're going to count 15, give it a little bit of time. Okay. While we're waiting, we can come back up to engine right here. Uh, find ECU and it brings the screen back up again. Then you can click direct and it found it. So now it pulls it up. Okay. So basically any changes we made, we still haven't saved them because the yellow here is going on. Um, if you shut it off with that yellow, it won't remember any changes you made uh, till the last time you click that save data to ECU. Now another thing I recommend when you first hook up to your uh, to your IG controller is come right here to save. See it right here by the file folder save and then go and uh, put a name remember where you put it at my documents whatever but put that in there and then click save and what it does is that saves everything that's in your IG controller the way we sent it to you if you haven't changed anything if you get in and start screwing around and you goof up and you really messed up big time you can always go back and click right here on the file folder and then you can go find it and then you can open it and then you can save save the data to ECU after you open it uh, so that way you're right back to where you use that uh, that concludes uh, the basic and we'll be uh, making up some more here shortly on some more advanced stuff but that should get you going uh, again if you have any questions don't hesitate to call us uh, Odom Specialty 618-695-9400. Thank you.